Hello there, everyone. This is Andre, the Game Idea Guy. Thank you very much for lending me your time and your ear and listening to another video by me. So, at this point in time, I am exposing myself. Not in a naughty way. Get get your mind off the gutter. Get, get your mind off the gutter. Keep your head on your shoulders, please. Thank you. Yesterday, I had a bit of an overreaction, I think, maybe, to someone... Make a comment on a video on my channel. And it's not necessarily something I usually do, but I have a low tolerance for certain types of things, like someone acting dumb or someone saying something that kind of demeans my character or saying something that kind of... I mean, I don't care if somebody dislikes me. That's one thing, but don't imply something about my character when you know nothing about me. That's one of those things. I, it's a pet peeve for me. I have a very short fuse with it. Uh, I, I, I deal with, in general, deal with seeing stupid people a lot. So I've grown <laughs> to have a short fuse for things that to me look like someone's acting stupid or being stupid. That said, the person who had made a comment on my video did actually apologize. As you can see, the the, the the next to last comment, because mine is the last comment made so far. Like I said, I'm just saying that we, we had the same idea, that's all. It's a really cool idea if you ask me. Sorry if I said in a way that seemed like I was saying you were stealing it. That, perfectly fine with me. That's all I needed to to get. But that first st sentence, this was my idea. I have a vid like nine days older than this one. That, like, contextually, that implies that I saw your video and said, oh, I should do this video too. Not that there would be anything wrong with doing a video because someone else inspired me to do it, but just the simple concept of the only reason I did this video is because I saw someone else's video. That kind of, it ticks me off. Oh, like, it really ticks me off because that's not how I think and that's not how, like, a lot of people I know think. Oh, I'm not going to say a lot of people don't think that way because the general populace from what I've seen and read, sadly, do think that way. Like, but I personally just, I don't like people implying certain things about me. Like, if someone says, oh, I know what type of person you are for responding in kind, like, that guy on that that video about angry joe like it's it annoys me like because if you're not going to be respectful to me i have i see no reason to be respectful to you i don't care who you are as i've stated before so here's my my comment on it below well i apologize then but contextually you said i was a thief and that is something that is a strike against my ooh, i meant the right character i wrote characters my character as a person that really irritates me, I typically can be even an uh, even temper ah an even tempered person, but that's one of those things that instantly ignites my anger, so I tend to get hostile. The wording just implied heavily that you saw it as me stealing a concept from you and and now I even feel a little bad because I went on a rant about it. It was also <laughs> It also kind of ticked me off because I could see that you and I have some very similar interests when I checked your YouTube channel to look for the video. I think I may have overreacted a bit, but again, that's something I kind of have a short fuse for. And I genuinely, that video I put out, that's how I felt at the moment. So I'm not going to take that video down. It was an error on my, it was an error on my part, and I'm, I'm mad enough to fess up to that. I'm like a lot of people. I'm man enough to fess up to it. It was my mistake. It was what I said. And that's on me. Like, there there was another comment made by another person, but I blocked the name out because I don't... And as you can tell, I like don't worry about it. I've said what I had to, and I can deal with people who spout off of my own. I'm going to say this again. If you are a viewer of my channel, you listen to my videos or whatever, if I say something... Or somebody says something to me. Even even if I might just like, you know, vent on G+. Because sometimes I do. I might vent on G+, about some things. 
<clears throat> I don't want people to rush to my defense. I can do it myself. It, like it's, I appreciate the thought, but again, I'm not the Fine Brothers. I'm not going to send somebody after you <laughs> because I disagree with you. Or I don't like what you did. I, that, that's not my style. That's not how I am. Like and and like and I appreciate that I with the people that are subscribed to my channel. I do appreciate that you guys would be willing to stick up for me, but I I can do it myself. I'm, I'm able to do it. I don't need anyone to do it for me. Like and thank you either way, but. I can do it myself. Like, I, I have no problem with, like, I could be getting slammed by 30, 40, 50 people, and I'll still fight on my own. It, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> like, that's just how I am. Like, plus, <clears throat> I look at it as if I have to go to you to fight my battles for me, then what makes me worth being a YouTuber for you to even listen to or to follow? Like, there's no purpose for you to come listen to me if you have to defend me. Like, no, I can defend myself. I can defend what I say on my own. If I'm wrong, I'll admit it. If I'm right, then I'm right. That's just how it is. But, but I, I really wanted to put this video out there before time got too far along and people just thought that this is just an unresolved situation. Like, I, I do apologize to the person that I got agitated with. Like, just the wrong wording. <laughs> the wrong wording was what was the problem. And this just teaches me that as a person, I need to start taking a step back sometimes. Instead of automatically getting agitated by something, I need to take a step back, calm myself down, and ask for clarification. I need to start doing that more often. I need to ask for clarification. Because... Again, this might have just been, a, this was just a situation where the wording was probably not the best. And it li it, it literally just pissed me off. Like, I, I can't make an excuse for that. It pissed me off. Because like, I, thing is, I've seen this type of mentality a lot. Like, I might not be the person that these comments are made towards all the time. But I see this type of mentality a lot. And it, it annoys the hell out of me. It annoys me. Like, so when it happens on my channel, yeah, I'm especially going to get a little riled up. So, I, that's just how I am. Like, in this situation, this particular situation, I flew off the handle when I shouldn't have. I probably should have taken the time to breathe it down a little bit and then come back and ask for clarification. But, like, really, that wording itself so so heavily implies, like, oh, I did this first and you're just a thief. That's exactly, that's what I, I it came out to me as. When I looked at it, that's what I saw. And I was like, hell no. I, no, f no. Like, oh, hell no. <laughs> like, that, it, it really agitated the hell out of me. And... I do apologize to everybody who listened to me rant, like because you guys didn't have to hear that rant. I could have just, if I would have just waited maybe a day and calmed myself down, this wouldn't have gotten as bad as it did, and I allowed it to. So that's my fault. Like that is heavily my fault, and I do apologize for that. But like I don't want people to come to my channel for that type of shit. Like I really don't. I want you to come to my channel to talk your ideas about gaming. I'm hell anything. Like, just to express your love and joy of gaming. Like, but I I went off. I went off and, a, off and went on a tangent. And that was my fault. And now I'm going to go because my kids need me. So thank you guys very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.